Biden's Taiwan backing lax fangs, critics say. This is our topic report and our top link that we're picking for this is from the New York Times. Biden backs Taiwan, but some call for a clearer warning to China. This is Michael Crowley, excerpt here. If anything can tip the global power, power struggle between China and the United States into an actual military conflict, come on. You know, this is, this is so stupid. This isn't going to happen. This isn't going to happen until one or the other side figures out how to negate their nuclear weapons. I want you to understand that these, these corporate nationalists and these nations, in, in the case of China, it's just nation state nationalists. Uh, but in America, we're primarily driven by these. Well, right now, they're, the corporate nationalists have all found a common enemy, which is the American people. But if and when they ever, can, they ever get rid of the power that the American people have to resist them, well, then you're going to start to see them fight amongst themselves because none of these people wake up one and think uh, they don't see a room full of people like themselves that are leading. That room only has them in it. So <laughs> after they, it, I don't think they'll ever get to that point. But if they ever got to the point where they, 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 they ended American resistance to their power, uh, then uh, they would turn on each other. But until then, these corporate nationalists are kind of working in, 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 in concert with one another. And there's a love-hate relationship that they have with China in that uh, right now China is a useful ally because it enables them to gather resources outside of the lands that they were ostensibly originally created to serve. They don't serve the American people. They rely on foreign markets for the vast majority. Well, if they don't now, they're working towards it uh, for the vast majority of their capital power. So there's not going to be any military conflict between the United States and China anytime soon. And if China takes Taiwan, it'll be because the United States uh, corporate nationalists got together and said, yeah, go ahead. But I don't know if they'll do that because I think that, uh, you know, like I said, it's a love-hate relationship. They're, they're waking up and they're like, China is a useful ally. But again, that room in which they're the leader, China's not in it in the end. And, and the same thing with China. They're working very much with the corporate nationalists in America because, well, that's useful. But when that's no longer useful, they're all looking to kill each other. They're all killers. Just remember that they're all killers. Not going to be a military conflict between China and the United States unless it in here until you hear about technology that can quickly negate incoming threats of nuclear missiles. When that happens, then military conflict is very real. And there's a lot of people that would love a military conflict. There's a lot of people that could be very wealthy off of a military conflict. Plus, they'll be able to purge the land of, of, of useless mouths because of their automation that they believe will somehow inoculate them from basically accountability to the poors. Taiwan's TSM denies Washington Post story about chips for Chinese military. Now, I'll tell you how the Chinese are going to take over Taiwan, and, and that is they're going to do what they did in Hong Kong, which is they're going to infiltrate Taiwan, and they're probably... Well, they're already doing it. I'm absolutely sure. I mean, they've infiltrated the United States. And don't worry, the United States has done the same to other nation states. All nation states do this whenever they can. They infiltrate and they try to affect the society and the culture from within. And that's what they'll try to do. Affect the society from the culture from within to create some sort of uh, pro-Chinese vibe, pro-Chinese nationalism to, to get the Taiwanese themselves to choose China. That's much more likely what will happen in Taiwan. Again, unless there's a technology that emerges that, that neutralizes nuclear weapons. Taiwan reports 15 Chinese aircraft in defense zone. That's from Reuters. And then finally, China might not wait to force the Taiwan issue from Bloomberg. Oh, and this is all the Thucydides trap. Oh, Thucydides trap. Listen, the Thucydides trap doesn't work when everybody has nuclear weapons. Stop it. Just stop it. The reality of power. Think about term things in terms of realities of power. Not in terms of morality. Not in terms of what you think is logical or reasonable or whether this country is on just on the justice side or that is. No, it's all about the reality of power. Because these uh, these professional psychopaths, I'll say, these professional state psychopaths, they they don't operate within a framework of logic and reason that you understand because their logic and reason is framed within them being the almighty. I'll leave it at that for now.